Good afternoon. My name is Katie McGovern, and I played the role of Lucy in this film. We had a very good time filming this movie, and Natasha and Al Passeray were fantastic in guiding us throughout. The cast was very, very united, and we had a good time filming this movie. There were some difficult scenes, including uh, the rape scene. And the preparation for the scene was very thorough, uh, including the makeup for the blood and the special effects. Here. Would you like a candy? The funny thing was that when I first met um, Al, he came up to me. In, it's, I, I was in Los Angeles working on another film called The Orange Eaters. And this funny little Italian man with glasses came up to me and he said, um, would you like to be in this film Psycho Vision? And I said, well, sounds interesting. And, and we started to talk and he explained to me how he wanted it to be totally realistic. And of course, the problem is when you're an actor, you only have, you know, you'd like to fit in a few films a year. But because he wanted so much involvement from the actors, um, I had a little bit of a doubt at first, and then I understood I had to go all the way or, or not with this film. So once I accepted it to do the film, I knew I had to do six months in a special optical hospital in Upper Los Angeles. Then I studied a little bit in London to brush up on surgery. It took a chunk out of my life, and what's more, it became part of my life, the, the, the role. Um, when I played the doctor, uh, it was very difficult to sleep at night. And, um, and so what happened was that after a while, after sleeping very little and being every day on the set in the hospital, I didn't know my ass from Adam, if I might say so. <laughs> it was very difficult for me to keep my family life together. Hello, my name is Catherine Wilson, and welcome to my photography lab in Los Angeles, California. I played the role of Gail Waring, the lesbian photographer, and I had a wonderful time shooting this film for many reasons. First of all, because I love the character of Gail and her depth. Second of all, because I have always wanted to be a photographer, but I know absolutely nothing about taking pictures. And on this film, I learned all about it. All of these instruments, the camera, measuring light, the shutter, all of this kind of stuff. The crew was an enormous help in that. Um, so that was a blast for me, and now I'm almost an expert. Third of all, the wonderful cast and crew on this film. It was just a great, great, great group. So much solidarity. And finally, because with Psychovision, you never knew what to expect. I mean, we came on this set every time thinking that it was going to be the actors, the director, the crew, just doing what we needed to do and that the special effects would happen elsewhere on the computer and then added later. But no, it all happened right here, right in my photography lab. You know, I got to tell you, in, in, in all honesty, in, in, in making a film like this, the difficulties, first of all, to shoot in the mountains. You're so high up, there's no air. You're extremely cold. I mean, you're on the set, what, seven, four, seven o'clock in the morning. The wind is blowing like you would not believe. For me, as an actor, I think that uh, the hardest part First of all is that I don't like the cold. <laughs> and next to that, uh, I think uh, one of the most difficult scenes was uh, the rape scene. Uh, I mean, I just don't see myself as that type of guy. We were eight miles high in the mountains close to Denver. And uh, sometimes the weather got so bad that we had to be helicoptered in, and, which was very dangerous because you, you have the rocks, you got the wind, this, the cross currents, and all of that kind of thing like that. And then let's not even talk about, you know, getting out of the helicopter, setting up for the shoots. Uh, my hat goes off to uh, the people in special effects. 
Hi everybody, I'm Bianca Ara and I played the part of Diane in Psychovision. Um, what to say about it? I mean, it was just an incredible experience. I mean, I, to go back to the time when Mr. Al Passeri, uh wanted me in the cast. And, um, you know, he told me it was an action film, but I, I never actually realized what he meant by an action film. I've never actually done an action film. I've always, you know, interpreted roles such as, you know, the romantic lover, the young girlfriend, and things like that. But, you know, I love difficult things. I, I love uh, comparing myself with, you know, difficult events that could, in fact, happen in life. Uh, my role in the, in the film was, I, you know, I was, I'm, I'm an explorer, really. I study you know, caverns and rocks and things like that. I'm a speleologist. Well, that was tough. I mean, I think that was the real toughest part of the, uh, of the film. Because on the contrary to my colleague, Jeffrey Jones, he was high up in the mountains. I was down, 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 down in the earth. And I was about 100 meters down underground, and I suffer from claustrophobia, and I think that was one of the main problems. Uh, because, you know, I really suffer of um, this business that I can't breathe properly. And they had to, they had to interrupt um, shooting more than once, because I had panic attacks. But I said, no, I can do it. I wanted to do it. We actually went, by the way, where, where did we go and do it? We went to these really famous caverns in New Mexico and America. They're called the, the Carlsberg uh, Caverns. Um, and that was an experience because it seems to me that I have a kind of, um, a, you know, affection to these ropes all tight. I was tied to all these kind of ropes and they just lowered me into this really, really narrow kind of hole. And I went down for 100 meters. There were only four people down there with me. There was a technician, there was a first aid uh, doctor because, as I, you know, told you, I suffer from claustrophobia. There was the director, obviously, and there was the, um, uh, the cameraman. And, um... It was just so gooey there, it was dark, it was freezing. Now something else about it, that we were down in these, you know, this place, it was, just, it was literally freezing and I couldn't even wear a jumper underneath, you know, what I was wearing because I suffer from allergy from, from wool, things like that. So I had all, all the different kind of problems.